Today, I'll show you how to make a deposit. To do this for non-contribution items only, you'll need to have your chart of accounts already set up. And to do it for contributions, you'll need to have some contributions already created. Once you've got those pieces ready, you're ready to make a contribution deposit. To do so, you can either go to Contributions, Deposit to see the full list of deposits and click New, or you can go to the Accounting Register and click New Deposit. On the New Deposit screen, first, put in the date of the deposit and the cash account into which the deposit is going. From there, if there are contributions included in the deposit, click the Select Contributions button. To add them all at once, click All, and then Add when you've got what you need selected. Back on the New Deposit screen, all of those contributions will now be visible. For any non-contribution items to be added to the deposit, go to the bottom of the page. Here you can make deposits directly using income accounts. You can select an account, then put in the amount and whatever memo might be appropriate. You can also enter ca any cash contributions as non-contribution items, perhaps putting them in through a plate money income account connected to the general or undesignated fund, or just putting the total into undesignated receipts. Once you've got all the contribution and non-contribution items added to the deposit, click back to save the record and return to the previous screen, either the deposit list or the register. Now the contributions added will be recorded as having been deposited and the deposit will appear in your accounting register. And now you know how to create and save deposits. As always, I hope God continues to bless your ministry and if you have any questions, we're available to help.